Welcome everybody to another episode of Roadkill Projects, where we got the Jeepster, the long forgotten Jeepster. So this poor thing has sat without an engine for the longest time now, and not for any reason in particular, it's because BeamNG actually broke and yeah. I've lost the mod for the engine that was in this thing. It's still going to have a V8. So, don't worry about that. This thing is still going to be V8 powered. It's not going to get a diesel in it again or something stupid. But, yeah. We're going to resurrect this poor thing today. Um, we're not really doing much to it. We're just throwing an engine and trans in it. And putting on a new top. Maybe taking out the roll bar padding. Uh, maybe putting some equipment in the back because I want to use this thing more. This poor Jeep just sits around and does nothing. We don't really do anything with it, so. We gotta get it fixed. Um, I'm gonna put new tires on it and everything because, I mean, these ain't meaty enough. We're getting new, nice, meaty tires for this thing, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, what we're going to be doing first is, well, yeah, actually, I wanted to put on a stinger. I wanted to get rid of the bull bar in the front, and I wanted to put on a stinger, because, well, why not? We're going to make that black. Uh, yeah. yeah. All that stuff is going to be black. Now, that's too intense of a stinger. As much as I'd, as much as I'd want that, I want the smaller one. Uh, stinger front bumper. Oh, license plate. Ooh, okay. Never been able to have a license plate on this on the front of this thing ever since I got it and ran over the front end of it with a camper. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, actually, let's make it. Ooh. Not too black. It's got that bluish tinge to the front of it. I don't know why. Yeah, like right there. That's not a bad black. It matches up with everything a little bit nicer. Alright. And the plate. And we'll leave it. Fuck it. Um, alright. Tow hitch. We don't really need it, but I think we're going to leave it. Yeah, we're not putting the diesel in it. Engine. So what I want to put in this thing is the 4.5 liter V8. Reason why I'm putting a smaller engine in this thing is because previously this thing had way too much power with the 5.5 liter V8. So, we're taking that out, we're going to leave the exhaust off of it, but I'm going to put a Stage 1 Supercharger, that is the most I'm going to throw onto this thing. Um, I don't want it to make too much power, and I think the Stage 1 should be pretty good. I think I can actually put a hood back on this thing. Just regular hood. Yeah! Wow. I'm not used to this thing having a hood, but that's that's fine with me. I'm fine with putting a hood on it. Uh, roof. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to put a hard top on it. I never wanted to. Never thought I would, but... Might as well get a hard top for it. Uh, we're going to put the door sides back on, if I can find it. Yeah, we're going to put the the old doors back on it. it is it still going to have the padded sides, or is it actually going to 
makes sense. Nope. Perfect. Alright. And we're gonna leave the facade. The fenders are fine the way they are. Yeah, I don't have any other fenders to put in. Roll bar. I think we're gonna leave the roof. It's just a window option. Tailgate. Now. I'm gonna take. I think I want to put trekkers back on this thing. And we're going to have... I'm going to put the off-road spare on this thing, because I think... I know the tires that I'm going to be putting on this thing are going to be way bigger than that. But... I thought it would be cool to idolize this since it's new and it doesn't have a texture can I just put the regular one on nope okay well we can't utilize that so just ignore that I ever wanted to do that all right windshield I can't do anything there. Rear bumper, I don't think there's anything good I can put on it. The engine's fine where it is. Actually, what is the trans? A five speed manual, four wheel drive transfer case. I want to put the crawler transfer case in it. Because I think it actually gives you more down low power instead of just going fucking 90 in this thing. Yeah, all that is good. The only thing that I want to change is the rims. Which we're getting rid of the Nardellis. We're going to put 15 by 9 trekkers on. And I'm going to put some awesome meaty looking off-road tires on it. Now those are too small compared to the trackers. But I want to put on... I think the 18 inch Super Swampers would fit. feel a little too big. I don't like the look of them with the rim. I think I'm going to do this instead. The 19 inch hill explorers. Because I think they'll, yeah, they look a lot better. I think those tires are way better than the Nardellis. Plus they look meatier. They look way better. going to do the same thing in the rear. Get rid of the Nardellis. Put on the black trekkers. And I think we're ready to go. Now, I don't know where I'm going to go with this thing. Obviously, i got to take it off-roading. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these tires. They're super thin. So, this thing might flip a lot easier now. Let's see. No, it doesn't want to flip. Yeah, good enough power. Eleven pounds of boost. Not bad for a stage one supercharger on a smaller motor. on this thing. That might be a mod in the future for this thing. <laughs> what did I hit already? I've 
no clue. I hit something. That was a little too fast for that, though. See what I mean? This thing is way more known to flip with these tires. Which... I'm gonna say this, the Jeepster is very clean for what it is. It's not really rusty or anything, it's very clean. It's more my Jeep than anything, but... We're going to be road killing a jeep in a future episode. Not anytime soon, because I have episode 30 coming, and I need to get three episodes kind of pre-recorded again, because episode 30 is going to take a lot of time to record. Especially, Roadkill Projects is going to be pretty fruitful the next uh, couple of months, because... There's a lot of vehicles that need to be worked on because episode 30 is planned to release in December. I'm not really going to give away any plans again or do any extras on it again. It's mainly going to be a big surprise nonetheless. But I don't really know where to go with this thing. Um, that's the sad part about this, is that this was really just kind of a last minute thing, because hopefully this weekend I'm recording with Sean for the actual episode of Roadkill, it's going to go up for September, and then I'm going to get October and November's episode done, so I can have October and September, October and November to work on the cars, but also record episode 30 because we're going to need we're going to need a lot of time to record it and there's no way me and Sean are going to record the full special in a day so yeah um, I think that's going to be it this is going to be way on the shorter side I just, I just wanted to get this thing done and fix it, revive it get a motor back in it you know, just have a Jeep that's usable again. But hopefully in the future, we'll be, we'll, we will be road-killing another Jeep eventually. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be rusty. It's, it's planned. It's just when I'm going to do it, I don't know. I still have tons of road-kill episodes planned. But for projects, you know, it's just basically fixing stuff and working on cars that aren't really roadkill enough, but roadkill-esque, if you, if you were to say. But hopefully you enjoyed this uh, shorter one. Sorry for that, but I gotta do it because I got a lot of prep in order for roadkill to go smoothly, hopefully being recorded this weekend. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. That is such a lousy ass horn. I'll give it a try to it, don't worry.